Well, there's been heavy fighting between security forces and supporters of the former Al-Shabaab leader in the Safani town of Baidoa. We're seeing a lot of pictures and videos on social media, roads blocked with burning tires and rocks being thrown. At least 11 people, including soldiers and civilians, were reportedly killed. Mukhtar Abo was reportedly arrested by Ethiopian troops working under the African Union peacekeeping mission, and he's reportedly been flown to the capital, Mogadishu. Well, Rabo is one of the most famous defections from the armed group Al-Shabaab. In October, he announced that he was running for president of Somalia's southwest region. He is now considered a top candidate in next week's regional elections. The federal government has banned him from contesting, but the Electoral Commission gave him the go-ahead. Well, the government accuses Rabo of being a security threat. The statement shared by the Somali news agency alleges that Rabo failed to drop his extremist ideology and is accused of mobilizing armed forces to threaten the security of Baidoa. Now, elections are expected to go ahead on December 19th, and they're critical for the country, as the UN backed central government and regions where Al Shabaab fighters have a strong presence are now battling for power after decades of war. We heard from Amal Abukar from the Cape Institute. She says Rabo's arrest could also reignite old tensions between Somalia and its neighbor, Ethiopia. The capture of Robo by the Ethiopian peacekeeping forces on the new federal government accusation of being a security threat will further push the limits of Somalia's democracy. This comes when the presidents of Somalia, Ethiopia and Eritrea are holding discussions of integrating in the Horn of Africa region. However, the unfolding events on the ground after his detention will further complicate the quest for inclusive political process in Somalia. Many observers, both local and national, view his detention as escalation by the federal government to undermine opponents of their backed candidate for the presidency of Southwest State. Many are also calling into question the neutrality of the Ethiopian peacekeeping forces in this new trilateral alliances between Ethiopia, Eritrea and Somalia. Well, others online are calling on Somali leaders to do more. Mohammed shared this picture of his hometown of Baidoa, saying, my city does not deserve to be dealt with like this. And the British ambassador to Somalia says that he is deeply concerned about the recent violence, adding, to everyone with influence over what happens next, please act with restraint for the sake of the people of Baidoa, including the city's many thousands of internally displaced people. Well, if you are currently in Somalia, we do want to hear from you. Send us your messages on Twitter. Use the hashtag AJNewsGrid.